Hi guys. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that this is the second wave of the collapse. I don't like to do that. I don't like to sit here and ring an alarm bell just to have the it really not manifest itself. What's happening right now in the markets is a great fluctuation. We're seeing things that kind of remind me back when uh, in 2008 when the markets began their first collapse. And basically, what I'm going to tell you is this. Ron Paul said that the TARP bill would give us, an, a, at most, a two-year kickstand on the economy. It, was, it basically put us in a stasis mode. And there's many economic forecasters that were saying the same thing. But I'm going to tell you something that creeps me out a little bit worse. I had at least 10 subscribers to my videos email me around two weeks ago. And I'm not going to mention any names, but they told me we have two weeks tops before we're going to start seeing things happening in this economy and it's going to be over with. And I've had many great emails from subscribers talking about how things are going to start going downhill in early May to mid-May. It's actually quite creeping me out more than anything because we had such a long time. You know, we've heard the predictions from numerous people on YouTube of when they think the economy is going to go down. It always seemed to be two or three months out, and it never seemed to quite manifest itself that way. Um, but these people, they really were going out on a line and saying, yeah, it's going to happen in early May to mid-May. And we got all these numbers at our day trading company. We have people that had like five people coming into their home during the day and day trading. And they thought their prediction was it was going to happen in early May to mid-May. And I, I just can't emphasize this enough. If this is it, if this is really the collapse, you need to start preparing yourself and get your final preparations in order. What, whatever, if you... I hope that you have a lot of preparations, but if you have not begun to prepare, you better start hurrying up quickly. If, if you have a lot of preps, keep at it, go into overdrive, start stocking things on top of other things that you have. When this collapse happens, which it will, you're going to need to know certain things. One of them is if our grocery store shelves are ever empty, you need a supply of 2x4s at your house and nails or screws so that you can board up all of your doors and windows. If you live in an apartment, believe me, it's going to be worth losing your deposit, which won't be worth anything when the dollar goes, in order for you to remain safe. You need to board your windows up, just, just slap them across the whole window and stick screws in them. It's not very hard to do and a 2x4 will slow somebody down or a mob of people pretty well. Enough time for you to get your gun. Uh, if the grocery store shelves are empty, you will never be able to trust family. And I hate saying that. I love my external family, the people outside of my home. I love them to death. But people, believe me, when somebody is desperate, when somebody is truly desperate, if you've never been hungry before, let me tell you, it's a very strange feeling. I, that's a long story. If people are desperate enough, they will do anything to you. They will put authorities on you. They will put other people. They'll tell mobs of people that you have food and, and whatnot. At my home, what I've done is I have a food storage cache here. And I know I'm sitting here public on YouTube. However, I have off-site caches that I haven't told anybody about that only my wife and I know about. And we have those stored away so that my family, if we needed to retreat out of here for any reason whatsoever, if we bug out, we have food available to us um, so, so that basically we can make it. You need to really be going into overdrive to prepare yourself. This thing is wavy all over the place. Um, I am seeing a lot of predictions people are making coming to pass. I don't want to ring alarm bells. I'm not going to say I truly believe this is the second wave of the collapse, but I wouldn't doubt it if it was the beginnings of the second wave of the collapse. The Great Depression did something similar where it went into stasis for a year, year and a half, and then it started crashing again. And I'm one who believes history repeats itself. So please get yourself ready. Um, get all the preparations you think you need. If you've had your eye on something that you thought you might like, but it's a little expensive, go ahead and buy it. It's it's only paper, and it's going to be worth paper later on. Stretch your budget if you have to. Um, I don't even like encouraging people to go into debt, but if that's all you can do is swipe credit cards, hey, it's better to be in debt and have it loom over your head than sit here and not have food or supplies for the economic collapse. Spend what you can on it. Um, I'm not encouraging anybody to go crazy, but these 
are going to be very serious times that you're going to face. You've never seen anything like this in your life. I've never seen anything like this in my life. And the only things that I have are echoes of stories of uh, people who have lived through this stuff in history. And those stories are incredibly crazy. I've heard stories about people who have even been inside of concentration camps. And when they brought out the food, it was like a gang mob of 250 people running for a small eight-quart pot of basically chicken broth. And it was just a huge mob attack on this one pot of soup. That's how it's going to be when these corporate charities come out and try to save our butts with all of their free food as long as they can regulate it through RFID. I see stuff like that coming. It's my personal opinion. Who knows what's absolutely going to happen, but you do know one thing. You're going to need food. You're going to need water. You're going to need shelter. That's a given fact. And these guys on Wall Street, they're all crooked. The government's all crooked. So the only thing you got to trust is yourself and your own gut. Always follow your gut instinct. Till next time.